Update two on Hurricane Daniel, which is now 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 975 millibars. No warnings are in effect. 39.3 degrees north, 44.6 degrees west as of September 5th, 2022, 2.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, now Daniel got um, 290 miles per hour in pretty high altitude pretty high um coordinate which is very surprising and um it's probably because it's stalled in the atlantic but um it is expected to weaken as it's supposed to be flinged off looking at the forecast you could see um the system is expected to now move towards the northeast or uh, yeah northeast and um turn extra tropical or subtropical soon um you can see it by the satellite imagery soon 705 miles away from St. John's, 1,020 miles away from Punta Delgada, 1,080, um, 1,880 miles away from Lisbon, and 1,230 miles away from Bermuda, and, um, most of the coordinates are the same because the storm, um, storm stalled in the past few days. Sea surface temperatures where Daniel is headed is cooler sea surface temperatures, um, and it's expected to fling off and turn extra tropical. Some models are saying it could become a brief Category Two. Here's Daniel on satellite. You can see its huge eye. Um, that's why we kind of expect it to turn subtropical um, in a bit here. Um, you can see its giant eye that kind of usually big eyes in hurricanes kind of detect subtropical hurricanes or subtropical um storms or like the phase of it looking at it in visible imagery you can see with a few clouds near look at the national hurricane signal official forecast you can see um it's pretty much the same thing but for them the um stall kind of takes a bit longer before it flings off and um it's not expected to impact any island, no threat to land. Looking at the um, models, you could see some storms have it, some models have it mostly going up to the northeast, which is what it's going to do. Model have it going to the northeast, then north, and then you can see a few models expecting it to do a loop or something like that. You can see the intensity, model intensity, you can see um, some models are expecting a little bit more strengthening before weakening, but most models think it already reached its peak intensity and is now weakening on a weakening trend, which is most likely the case. Now, um, looking at the JTWC, you can see 91W and Hinaminor. Over there, it's expected for Hinamino to impact South Korea soon, so um, maybe we'll get an individual update on that in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want more, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.